All right, so a lot of people had questions about the measles vaccine, yeah. and we have Dr. Elizabeth Mead from Swedish to help us. Thank yeah, you very much. I'm happy to be here. All right, we have a lot to get through. I okay. have a two month old, and I'm so scared to go out places with him due to the measles outbreak. Is it best to just stay at home? Yeah, so for people who have babies that are too young to get the vaccine, so usually the first dose is around a year. If you live in other places in the state where they haven't seen measles, you can go outside, but I would just take it easy. Okay. Um, if you had an MMR shot as a kid, is it necessary to get another? So if you've had two doses, that's 97% effective against preventing measles. So if you've had a, the first dose is usually at a year, the second one is four to six, and if you've had those two, you can be pretty confident that you're protected. Okay. Can someone get measles if they are not old enough to have had the second vaccine? You can. So, but the great news is measles vaccine is so effective that even with one dose, you're about 93% protected, but that second dose really helps get you up to 97%. Not bad. Um, I'm wondering if natural immunity is still in effect. I had the measles back in the 60s, and the theory was then, when you survive the measles once, you were immune for life. Great question. So we consider having had natural measles infection to give you measles immunity, yes. Ooh, for life. Yeah, for life. Okay. So, so that's what we have seen in data. Okay, and what is the average age of people getting infected now? The vast majority of cases that we've seen in this current outbreak in Washington State are in kids, and they're in kids who have not been vaccinated, so they've, most of them have been kids under 10. We have seen it in a few adults. There's a really small percentage of people who don't respond to the vaccine who can get it even if they've been vaccinated, but it's only about 1% of people. So most of these have been in kids who did not get the vaccine. And then I have an extra question. Yeah. If you're unsure if you've had you know, the second shot, mm -hmm. what should you do? Should so you if you can get, get your vaccine records, that's the best thing. If you can't get your vaccine records or you don't know for some reason, your doctor can actually test you for immunity so they can do a blood test to see if you're immune to the disease. Oh, easy. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay, and I guess we should remind everyone why it is so important. I mean, is the measles, how dangerous it's, is the measles? Yeah, no, that's a really good question. So um, a lot of people don't know this because it's been technically eradicated from the United States since 2000, right? And now we're seeing it again. So a lot of people who get measles can get complications. You can get pneumonia, you can get encephalitis, which is swelling around the brain. People who get measles can actually become blind or deaf from having the infection. And then in pregnant women, we worry about miscarriages. So there's lots of really, really serious complications that people need to be aware of. Okay, so take it seriously. Yeah, and get your vaccine. Okay, thank you. Yeah.